Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at PS Remote Play once again on the Asus ROG Ally. Um, so there's been an update on my local network. Um, did a purchase to a Wi-Fi 6 router. So that's the one we've got going. TP-Link AX3000, the Archer AX55, Wi-Fi 6. Let's see what kind of performance we get compared to the ISP issued router, Wi-Fi router. So we're taking a look in 10 watt silent operating mode. Just get the volume up. Can really tell by the picture fidelity. S streaming a lot higher um, bandwidth, a much greater resolution picture. Hopefully you guys can see the, the improvement on the 4K YouTube video. Another update is the built-in ROG Ally controls work with PS Remote Play. So let's jump back into Ratchet & Clank. That's where we had our first test test with the ISP issued router, Wi-Fi router. So I think it's only fair that when we revisit this for round two, we stress test the same game, essentially. Okay, it looks like we, we're back to the controls not working. I guess that was just for the menus. Just connect the dual sense control here. Yeah, control is definitely not working. So just for full transparency compared to the first PS Remote Play stress test that I did on the ISP issued Wi-Fi router, this one, the second stress test is now also being done in exactly the same room. It's in a bedroom that's a brick wall behind a brick wall in the bedroom, the spare bedroom. So. The TP Link Wi Fi 6 router is definitely handling it better as far as streaming non gameplay thus far. Let's see how it does when we get to the gameplay scenes. Okay, I'm gonna skip this cutscene guys. Let's jump straight into gameplay.
Don't you think it's weird to throw a celebration for us? I mean, we haven't done anything heroic in years. What if everyone thinks we're washed up? <gasps> I, Captain Copernicus Leslie Quo, oh, wow. will be your host. Even just standing in the camera. The graphical fidelity and the smoothness is definitely a huge step up. Wow! Haven't seen these guys in ages! So the input lag is not perceivable at all to be honest. As soon as I'm pressing the button to jump, I'm pretty much jumping. It's immediate. I must say I'm quite impressed with the improvement in performance guys, it's literally night and day. So if any of you have a good fiber connection and you're just living with the stock standard ISP issued Wi-Fi router, I would say if PS Remote Play is something you want to be taking part in, definitely Upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6 shooter. So this AX3000 Archer AX55 TP-Link Wi-Fi 6 shooter. Definitely positive experience thus far. Streaming artifacts to mention. It's just a smooth gameplay experience. So, definitely, if the TV is occupied by the kids or your partner and your Asus ROG Ally is an option or a tablet or a phone screen. Okay, we're getting some slowdown here. Okay. That's new, definitely. 
So we'll obviously be doing more tests with this PS um, Remote Play, see if the performance is consistent. Definitely, it looks like we've had <laughs> a catastrophic event where this has now failed. So thanks for joining this time, guys. Let me troubleshoot this. Hopefully it's something that can be resolved. And yeah, tune in next time where we'll be testing some more PS5 games streaming to the Asus ROG Ally. Hit that like and subscribe button. GD helps the channel, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers.